Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome back to another day of learning all about addition. We're gonna first go over, today is June the 9th, 2020. We're focusing on grades K and one. Our standard would be M-A-F-S-K-O-A 1.2. The objective, boys and girls, you will be able to say this to yourselves. I can solve whole numbers, word problems within 20 with real drawings, scenarios by using manipulatives, drawings, and equations. Okay, boys and girls, let's think about our lesson from yesterday. We started off in the store, shopping with our parents. So I'm gonna give you a, another word problem. And as you see, I do have six steps for solving story problems. The first one says, read the story. Can you read all the words? Number two, read the story again. What, it, what is it about? Number three, imagine what it looks like. Number four, write an equation with a symbol for the unknown value. Number five, solve for the unknown value, which is your answer. Number six, think about your answer. Does it make sense? And over here, boys and girls, these are our math vocabulary words for the week. The word add, add-ins, equals, equation, parts, plus, sum, and whole. All right, here's the first word problem. Zoe has two cartons of orange juice. So we're gonna write the number two. And with that, you would draw what it looks like. That's two. So she has two cartons of orange juice in her cart. She puts 11 containers of yogurt. Let's draw that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So as you can see, our word problem says two plus eleven. Hmm. And we don't forget to put your equal sign. Let's count the circles to see if we can find the answer to our word problem. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So now we just figured that problem out, boys and girls. Two plus 11 equals 13. All right, so she had 13 items in her cart. Hmm. And she wants to know, can she get in that 10 items or less line? No, she cannot. But she can definitely get in the 20 items or less line because she only has 13 items. And boys and girls, remember Miss Allen showed you that you can break up a whole number into parts. So here's the number 13. And we know that 13 means 10 plus a number. So 10 plus the number three equals 13. All right. Good job, boys and girls. How many items are there in the cart? Hmm. We just discovered that she only had 13 items in the cart. All right, I have another word problem for you. So Zoe, she went back to the store the next day, all to prepare for her field trip. Mm, so she knew she needed some snacks. So she purchased nine granola bars. So let's draw that. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then she wanted some oranges. Hmm. And she knew we're gonna like make this the unknown number. Nine plus the unknown number is going to equal our sum. Remember, boys and girls, this is one of your vocabulary words, the sum. So let's see, how many more circles do we need? We have nine already. So what number we have to stop at, boys and girls, is 18. So let's count on from number nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Hmm. Let's count how many this is on this side of the plus sign. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh, so that's the same number. Nine plus nine equals 18. Let's break the number 18 up in a different way. We're gonna put the number 18 in our circle. And we know that 18 is 10 plus the number oops, eight. This is how you would break a whole number up into parts. Awesome. So you can practice doing that at home with your families. Alrighty, and you could use counters when you're solving your problems. You could write numbers when you're solving your problem, or you could draw the problem out to figure out your answer, okay? Boys and girls, in the coming up weeks, we're going to take a pre-test, and then you will take a post-test later down the line, just to see how much you know all about your math skills. All right, we're gonna move on to another game. We have some jars. And we have some bugs. So this is another fun way that you can play addition. And we have some cute dice. So you can say, okay, let's roll. Mm, the number on the top says five. One, two, three, four, five, just in case you need to verify how many bugs you need to put in the jar. So we're gonna do the ladybugs first. So the number that we landed on was the number five. So in this jar, you will put one, two, three, four, five ladybugs. That should match the number. How many ladybugs you have should always match your number that you have on the jar. Okay, let's roll another one. Oh, that's number three. One, two, and three. Oh, let's use something different. Let's use the ants. Let's first write our number so we'll keep in our mind what number we need to stop on. The number three. We're gonna put three ants in our jar. One, two, and we'll put three right here. Cause ants like to be all on top of each other. Alrighty, so the word problem would read as follows. Five plus, that's the plus sign, three equals, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight bugs in our jars. Boys and girls, this is a fun activity that maybe you can draw at home on a piece of paper. 
You could draw some jars, you could draw your favorite bugs, and you could play your addition games. Let's do two more. Well, let's do that again, I was kinda sorry. Mm, same one, one, two, three. Mm, I was looking for a different number, but it landed on three, so that's where we're gonna start. Three. Let's roll the purple one. Oh, six. So let's write the number six in this jar. All right, let's do that with our bugs. We're going to put three ladybugs in the first one. One, two, and three. Yeah, three ladybugs to match the number three. All right, let's go to the next jar. You have the number six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's write that out. Three plus six equals, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did we skip one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, sometimes you have to do that just to make sure you're correct. You always want to make sure you have the correct number of bugs to match the number that's on your jar. So we just figured out that six plus three equals nine, boys and girls. Good job. So you could try that at home with your families or your friends. You could make some jars and you could just pick some bugs and be very creative when you're doing your um, addition problems. All right? I just have something I wanna share with you. It's called affirmations. Repeat after me. Say, I am strong. I am confident. I am happy. I am amazing. I am great. I am healthy. I am unique, because there's only one me. I am special, I am gifted, I am loved, I am lovable, I am joyous, I am fabulous, I am wonderful because I am me. Boys and girls, don't forget all the wonderful things that you learned in our math lesson on today.